So here in this problem, so we have to draw development of a truncated square pyramid. You can see here, uh, first term of a square pyramid has base has a base 40 mm, top face uh, 15 mm, sorry 16 mm and height 60 mm, 16 mm given here. Okay. So we have to draw first x y line, write uh, x y and h p v p, okay. So here uh, we have to construct a, a square of dimension 40 first, 40 mm, 40, 40 and angle, angle we give 0 degree, okay. And another square of dimension 20 mm we have to do it and uh, from the first we draw some thin lines here so that we get the center point here easily okay so join uh, draw two diagonals you'll get the center so for that center we can uh, place that uh, smaller square of dimension 20 here okay give width and height to 20 and place it at the center ok you can place it easily ok so we can show the dimensions here ok you can show the dimensions here for both the top box and bottom box we can show the dimensions ok now we can give the naming for it uh, top box and bottom base it is a bot bottom base we give a b c d and for the top base we give a1 b1 c1 and d1 so we can give it a1 b1 c1 and d1 okay so draw the projection lines here draw the projection lines draw the projection line from the center also from the center also we can uh, draw the projection line okay so drawing the projection line from the from here we can we can we can draw the front view by drawing the projection lines we can draw the front view so just draw the projection lines from this end Okay, so from this, uh, <coughs> so now you can draw an axis. So axis of height, not axis. It is nothing but first term where it is cutted with respect to the top face. So it is for 60 mm. Okay. So here the it is cutting exactly at uh, 20, so I'll be giving 10, or 10, 10 mm on either side. Okay. On either side we can mention 10, 10 mm. Okay. Here also you can mention 10 mm. Can connect. Using extend to next we can join. So here uh, you can see just we have to connect it the per side. So you can give the naming for the bottom base and the top base. You can give. So from here front view we can able to see dash b dash c dash and d dash not visible same way but for the top face, cut it face also we can write it. So if we extend we are not able to get it here. 
I think uh, we, I need to extend that axis line a little uh, more here so that by extending it I can able to get that uh, slant edges connecting at a single point okay I'm not getting here also so I'll be drawing little further so that I can able to join I'll try here so so in this point also I am not able to get it. Okay. So now the entire thing I will take it that entire thing little lower. Okay. Spallon and if we draw so it's not going to touch. Okay. So this entire diagram uh, I will take little lower so that I can draw an axis okay so take that entire thing little lower so that we can draw an axis little further so that when we draw this land edges they can meet at a exact axis point here okay here i'll be drawing a more length line of the axis now i'll extend it now you can see we get an exact point for this upper part which has been cutted so like this we have to show okay so you can split it and we can show that upper part with a thin line i'm just cutting that upper part and that is i'm getting around 60 mm here okay so i think the inside top face he has taken 16 but here i have constructed for 20 so just you have to follow the procedure okay no need to worry here so I think we have to do it for 16 but I have done it for 20 that's why the length it is varying here okay, no need to get panic you can take it uh, 16 and do it but here in this problem I have taken 20 no need to worry there is no problem here you can see and we don't have the exact slant edge here none of the slant edges are parallel to x y line so that's why I will considering one of the slant edge length using arc by center point and then I will cut the arc okay this is where I will get another the true length here because none of the edges are slant edges are parallel to xy okay so now we can connect from that point to the exact end point of the axis okay, you can join okay so this is what the exact uh, true length here okay here the length I, I will get more because I have taken that upper part at 20 mm okay I have not taken 16 no need to worry just concentrate on the uh, procedure how I am following it so the procedure will be same here no need to get worry here okay can measure the dimensions so that is the upper part dimension and the total length here in the problem shown that is 104 now I'll measure the total length here using uh, using distance between command using by selecting two points. Okay, now I'm getting it is around 123.29 mm. I'll be drawing the uh, vertical line for that 123.29 mm. Okay, and then I'll cut the arc here. So you know the procedure how to do it okay 123.29 can enter okay now we can sweep using uh, that is your OA go to arc by center and measure this length from O to A and then sweep the arc and sweep it okay now we have to cut four arcs here uh, of dimension 40 mm because we have to have uh, four faces here in a square uh, pyramid four times we have to cut it of dimension 40 mm So give the radius 40 mm and you can sweep it, you can cut the arc here.
the same we can cut it four times give the radius 40 mm and cut the arc okay now we can join it all this point with the straight line okay slant edges zoom in and connect okay connect it properly by zoom in Okay, can draw the base edges of the square pyramid. Okay, so connect it properly by zooming. Okay, so now that uh, upper part, so you can mention the naming here. A B C D E A B C D A. Okay. So the upper part we have to uh, cut it. So the length we should consider the same length for all the four arcs here. That is 61.64 mm. We can give the radius and cut the arc. Okay. So now we can uh, split it up using split command and then I'll make that upper part as a thin line so go to you can give the name here for that upper part A1 B1 in cap capitals okay C1 D1 and A1 so upper part will make it as a thin line by splitting it up So I think uh, that completes the problem. So I can show the dimensions for this uh, two length, okay, and then base head length. I will show the dimension for it. So you can subscribe for the channel and share it to the maximum students so that can be benefited. And hit on the like button and the bell icon for the latest notification of this engineering visualization channel. Thank you for watching the video.